Hey everybody, Sexy Matt the Pharaoh Wizard here. I thought it was time once again to do another story time. Just a fun, goofy story of my life. So I thought I'd talk about the time I got attacked by a bear. So yeah, this is a real thing that happened. I'll have some pictures. Uh, so this took place around 2003-2004. Um, one of the shocking most shocking things of the story is I had a girlfriend at the time. I know, it's crazy. She's never been camping uh, at this time, and I was in Boy Scouts and went camping a lot, but not in a very long time. It's been a while since I've actually been camping. So we thought, oh, let's go camping. That'd be a fun weekend thing to do. That'd be great. So, uh, you know, we got up, you know, got all our stuff together and uh, we did some research and found a great place called Rifle Falls, which is in Rifle, Colorado. And yes, for uh, any of you people uh, not in the United States, we love guns so much we name cities after them. So it's a cool place. It's got some waterfalls, some great hiking places, some caves to kind of check out. It's a really cool place to go. It's like, yeah, let's do this up. Let's do it up. Uh, you know, camping will be fun, which is our first mistake, because camping is never fun. It's actually terrible. I've learned this later, but camping sucks. I'm sorry, but it sucks. That's a rant for another day, but camping sucks. Anyways, so the next mistake we made was um, the previous Christmas to this, I got my girlfriend a uh, pet bunny, and she really loved it. She, lo you know, it was a great gift and everything, and she's like, well, let's bring the rabbit along. Like, oh, yeah, that'll be fun. She had, like, a little harness for him so he can walk him around. And it was, you know, simple. It's, yeah, yeah, let's do that, sure. Didn't think anything of it at the time. So we packed everything up in my dad's truck and we drove down to Rifle Falls. And so, uh, you know, we set up camp and then we went hiking around the falls. I uh, took some pictures. Uh, had some good times just checking the whole thing out. And then... Um, one of the rangers uh, stops by and just reminded us that they've had an issue with a family of bears walking around. Um, literally like the Goldilocks story. Like there's a dad one that was big, a mom that was mid-sized, and a little baby one. Um, and, you know, gave us a flyer, I believe, or we saw some flyers on protection habits, and, you know, as Boy Scouts, so I know what you gotta do. There's certain things you gotta do if you're worried about bears being around. Um, so we took that in consideration, and we went back to our camp, you know, had dinner, hung out, did some drinking, all that fun stuff, and we did what we were gonna do. So then, um, part of what you do if bears are about is, uh, you take all your food, and your trash and you take it back to your vehicle because then it does the smell doesn't attract them to your camp um so we did that i pulled all the you know got the uh whole cooler and our trash put it in the truck we thought we were good everything's all set um, another fine tip if you'd like is you can put it high up in a tree um like tie a rope to it and pull it up if you want to go that route i just decided to uh just bring it back to the car and so uh we went to bed. What we didn't kind of take into consideration was the rabbit. Um, and so the rabbit spent the night with us in the tent. Um, so it was like a three-man tent, maybe two and a half. I don't know. It was a, a smaller backpacking tent, but, uh, you know, had enough room. So it was the rabbit here, me, and then my girlfriend here. All right? So it's all set up, uh, and we go to bed, and, you know... All is well. Come later in the night, uh, the tent hits me in the face. And I'm thinking, oh, it's just raining and windy. It's kind of something you get used to camping. You know, the tent kind of flaps in your face. Didn't think much of it. Um, but then I look over at my girlfriend. And she's sitting up, ghostly white face, just a white face. And I realize that the tent on my face is actually a bear paw on my face uh, so I get up quickly and it startles the bear back a little bit and we hear it breathing and moving around and we're like oh shit oh shit 
And it goes over to, we had a second tent full of just a different equipment and things, and it decided to stand on top of that. Me being, you know, half awake plus an idiot dude, I'm going to admit, I'm like, oh, I should check this out. When are we ever going to be this close to a bear? Let's look at this. And so I go to open the flap of the tent. My girlfriend's like, are you fucking stupid? Don't look at the bear. Like, scare it off. It's like, oh shit, yeah. And so I had a flashlight that had an alarm on it for this so such an occasion. Uh, and we set it off and the bear went running off. Uh, and that's another bear tip for you is they are very scared of uh, very loud sounds. So um, if you're worried about a bear attack... Or if you're, you know, see a bear, make a lot of loud sounds, they usually get scared off. So it scurried off, and we're like, holy shit, holy shit. We didn't think about it, and we're just like, oh, let's just try and get back to sleep. Let's, there's nothing we can do now, it's pitch black, and we can't see what happened. Let's just try and go to bed and oh, deal with it. And so we get up the next day, and we uh, discover a bit of the wreckage. So there was a claw mark all the way down one tent, the tent we were sleeping in, and the one he decided to stand on snapped a bunch of high yield poles, um, and you know, we found a few tracks around, uh, we were definitely, you know, it was a bear. <laughs> uh, so we talked to the forest ranger, and it's, he thinks it was the baby one, we didn't tell him we had a pet rabbit, but my assumption is that's what brought him around, is that we had a... He could smell a rabbit who was in a cage, and he didn't... You know, was looking to get a quick meal. Um, yeah, we think it was also the small one, because if the other one had... Uh, if some of the bigger ones were around, it would have just ripped right through the tents and done a lot more damage. So it, might, it seemed more like something the little one would do and uh and that was it we kind of packed up and left you know took pictures obviously that you just saw of uh, the wreckage um and honestly that's the last time i've really been camping and it's not just because of bear attacks but because camping is just awful it's terrible um but yeah i got attacked by a bear and rifle falls so that was just another quick story time I wanted to share with you guys. Just something to uh, throw out there. Um, you know, it's Thanksgiving week, so I, I don't got as much time. So I just thought I'd do a quick little story time for you. So uh, hit that thumbs up if you're glad I survived a bear attack. And uh, share this video around to warn people of the dangers of bears. They're everywhere. And thank you guys for joining me.